this uh, club right here. Got called in. It's actually a 689. Um, it was the actual code for that. We're going to pull around. I heard there's some uh, kids smoking some marijuana back here. Very common problem on this side of town. And uh, we're just trying to crack down on a lot of parents have been complaining that the uh, marijuana smoke is actually polluting the environment. There's so much of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here, really rain on their parade. Uh, I hate to do this because I used to smoke a shitload of pot back in the day too. I feel like a hypocrite doing this, but it's something that I made a vow when I became a law enforcement officer that I was going to enforce the law no matter what the repercussions for my own uh, integrity were. And this is going to violate my integrity, but I'm still going to have to do it because I took that oath and I've got to uphold the law. That's something I just got to do. 71, proceed with caution. Okay, uh, we just uh, got it. Got a dispatch in saying to proceed with caution. That means they could be armed and loaded. This is part of my job. I'm willing to sacrifice my life for this. Um, it, it's just something I have. Like again, again, I have two things in this world. One is my word, and uh, the other is my ridiculously large, ugly wife that happens to be reproducing uh, child upon child that, that just end up being retarded and ugly. And those are the two things I have, and I cherish both of them so much. And uh, so I'm going to keep my word on this, and I'm going to, uh, even though they could be armed and loaded, dispatch is rarely wrong. Dispatch is very, very accurate around here uh, in these parts, and uh, I'm going to just uh, take that risk here. So we're going to see what the deal is. Really, <laughs> really just peeling ass around this corner here. we got to come up kind of inconspicuous-like because we don't want to scare them before we get to make the bust. My windows are kind of fogged over here because I was fucking one of my one of my secretaries there at the office earlier, and uh, that's not really uh, that's not really coherent with the policy down there at the station. But I fucked her nonetheless, and she's one of those types of freaks that uh, you know she just uh, can't come unless you put it in her ass too. So I've got some fecal matter on the back seat there from her shitting all over me, and this kind of adds to the agenda. Okay, here's our little pot smokers right here. And yeah, we can roll that window down. I don't even know. I can't so not operate my car. What are you uh what are you kids up to? Uh nothing. Smoking the marijuana pipe, huh? Taking in the Minnesotan scenery. Well I'm gonna make you a deal. I can take y'all down to jail right now or you can give me a hit off the pipe. Well I'd like to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as you're bunking up with me, so so this is kind of the policy here. As long as they give me a hit off the pipe, we let them go. <laughs> so basically, what happens here is they it's give a me a hit, they get me high, and that's okay because. Oh. Uh oh. Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Basically, the way this works is this is compensation. <laughs> this is fine. I won't take them to jail now. They're getting me high. This is okay. And this is integrity. This is still integrity because I actually do my job better while I'm high. I uh, just working on a record and trying to get used to having a wife gone. That's about it. Doing a record called Gonna Find a Girl. I'll take you down here in a minute and show you the first four tracks of this last track I wrote, man, it is, it's a whack fucking song. No, I think. <laughs> it's sold at 10.52. I got six minutes left, so I'm going to do that.
When do you typically wake up, Paxton? About For whatever air is mm-hmm. coming up the stairs. talking yesterday that you got to get out of that cycle yeah just the cycle of waking up on over every fucking morning and having to having to get rid of the hangover what gives you the hangover in the first place you yeah, know i think a lot of people go through it we gonna sit at the bar down at cows and we hang out with the good old boy sitting around every day telling the same fucking corny jokes Drinking their beer, some of them there at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, drinking already. It's like, fuck. Gives you perspective on the future, what the fuck's going to happen if you stay in the same side. I ain't saying I want to quit drinking. I just want to moderate my amount of alcohol consumption. If I live like this for the rest of my life, so be it. I hope it don't get any worse from me. I think to be under a bridge in a box. This is Missouri's. Yeah. It's not even mixed. It's just kind of. Yeah, the some of our veterans who's also about you when they still be the dirt. But please don't let that creep you out. I don't know about now that shit's what I could do. So just be satisfied with you. And please just get in my blur. You know how I'm too. You know why I know the ages. You did this last Look at that. It's real blood. Jeez. Oh, bitch. 